Hi, welcome back to Mr. Meal's Music. I'm Anthony Meal. Time to learn how to play Pull the Anchor. After the kids know how to sing the song, I have them uh, keep the beat on their legs. First we start with just the micro beat, so it would go like this. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Yo ho, I'll show you how. Just like that. Once they can feel that micro beat, then um, I have them try the macro beat. So it would go like this, the longer beat. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Yo ho, I'll show you how. Once they're able to do both, we start traveling around the room, marching to um, either beat. So I'd have them start off with the micro, so they would go, Yo ho, I pull the anchor, yo ho, I'll show you how. Once they try that, I'd have them try the macro beat. Yo ho, I pull the anchor, yo ho, I'll show you how. Once they have a feeling of both of those, we discuss which one feels a little more natural to fit the song. Um, typically, they'll uh, tend to um, agree that the micro beat feels just a little more appropriate for that song. Once we decide what beat we're going to be keeping, I have the kids um, try to stop on the word who. So they'll be traveling around the, uh, the room. When we get to the word who, they're frozen. So they'd go like this. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Yo ho, I'll show you how. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Who is the captain now? I am the captain now. Now it's time to put it into the game. So I have the kids sit around in a big circle um, and I'll have them turn their sides to the inside of the circle so they're all uh, facing clockwise going around the circle. Then I'll lay a big rope. I usually have a rope about this thick. Um, usually get it from the hardware store and um, make sure it's big enough for the whole class. Um, sometimes you have to link a couple pieces of rope together and that's fine too. And once they're in that circle, we practice pulling the rope to a beat. So without even having the rope in their hands, they're grabbing the imaginary rope. So they're going, yo ho, I pull the anchor, yo ho, I'll show you how. Once you have that figured out and you make sure all the kids are feeling that beat, then we can uh, start using the rope for the game. With your rope, you're going to want to have a big knot in it or a piece of tape tied around it. This is going to help you decide who the captain is at the end of the song. So the kids are going to start pulling the rope all together. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Once it gets to the who, they're already used to stopping on who. And whoever has that knot in front of them um, is going to be the captain. So if it's going and it's going and it's going and it passes their last hand, it'd be the person behind them who would be the captain. Um, if the knot landed on you, you would go, I am the captain now. The rest of the class would call back to that captain and they would go, um, he is the captain now, or she is the captain now. That does it for the game. You can play it over and over and over again. If you want to give your students um, an extra challenge um, and make it a little bit more meaningful, uh, be sure to check out the teacher tips and tricks version of Pull the Anchor. Um, it should be the next video, or uh, look down in the links and you'll find it. Um, it's great, great fun. Thanks a lot, take care, and have a good day. Bye-bye. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Yo ho, I'll show you how. Yo ho, I pull the anchor. Who is the captain now? I